This video includes an overview of the entire new standard package and detailed setup instruction for the Clear Access Table Base, Prone Platform or Open Top, Flex Frame or Wilson Style Frame, Multi Directional Arm Boards, Thigh Pad, and Ankle Rest. This setup is most often used for posterior spine surgery procedures such as decompression, laminectomy, discectomy, fusion, osteotomy, vertebroplasty, and kyphoplasty. The Clear Access Spine Surgery Table by OR Safety was developed to maintain all of the utility of competitive spine tables that are generically referred to as Jackson tables while removing all of the notable drawbacks of those types of systems. The table maintains head-to-toe C-arm access for lateral, anterior, and posterior spine procedures and can support the simultaneous use of two C-arms. While maintaining such unrestricted C-arm access and providing target site radiolucency, the clear access table has a safe working load of 600 pounds and has a noticeably more stable operating surface, particularly for heavier patients. Without outboard wheels, the table allows shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder docking with the gurney, which facilitates safe patient transfer onto and off of the operating platform. Finally, and perhaps most notably, there are no towers at the head or foot end, completely removing the need for T-pins and allowing anesthesia direct access to the patient's head and airway. Notice that without outboard wheels and towers, the clear access table has a dramatically smaller footprint than the competitive systems. A small footprint has been shown to be a significant benefit in the increasingly crowded ORs, hallways and storage areas of most facilities. Specifically, Jackson-style tables commonly occupy more than 26 square feet of space, while the clear access footprint is less than 12 square feet. Importantly, the clear access table is the only spine table on the market that has three preset configurations, each configuration organized in response to customer feedback and intended to deliver the right amount of equipment to fit specific types of clinical practices. The ASC solution is configured to support practices dedicated to outpatient spine procedures and interventional pain management. The new standard is configured for hospital-based spine practices and can support anterior, posterior and lateral spine procedures. The neurocervical configuration supports practices that include brain surgery and posterior cervical procedures requiring cranial stabilization. In this video, we will highlight the new standard configuration. This highly versatile specialized surgery table system begins with the clear access table base and two tabletops, the supine platform or flat top and the prone platform or open top. It includes the clear access head support, multi-directional arm boards, the open frame spine frame and leg management system. As an alternative to the open frame, the optional clear access flex frame can be installed. This setup is typically used for posterior spine surgery procedures such as decompression, laminectomy, discectomy, fusion, osteotomy, vertebroplasty, and kyphoplasty. For these types of procedures, the surgeon has the ability to use a sterile draped dedicated hand control to manipulate the table using fully motorized lateral roll, Trendelenburg, and cantilever to optimize the surgical approach angle and to facilitate easy C-arm and O-arm imaging. Setup of the prone positioning components shown here can be completed in a few minutes. Let's review the correct setup of these components, including alternative leg management solutions. Move the clear access table to the preferred location in the OR. To lock the table to the floor, press any button on the hand controller to wake it. Both hand controllers will auto-sleep if inactive for 30 seconds. Press any button to reactivate and then lock the table by pressing the wheels button firmly once and releasing. You'll note an audible beep as the table is lowered to the ground, warning caregivers to keep personnel and equipment clear of the table. If the prone platform is not already installed, it's likely that the supine platform, or flat top, is in place. If this is the case, remove the supine platform by grasping the silver handles at both ends of the table. Extend the handles by pulling outward, then lift and remove the supine platform from the clear access table base. Next, install the prone platform or open top onto the table. To do this, bring the prone platform over the table and lower it carefully into the cradle. 
once the prone platform is completely seated, depress both thumb releases at each end of the table to collapse the handles into the platform. Collapsing the handles at the foot end locks the prone platform into the base. Now build the table from head to toe. Install the clear access head support by grasping the installation handles on either side of the device. Hover the head support over the head end of the table and pull outward on the installation handles. Place the head system onto the prone platform and release the handles. Verify that the head support is engaged by lifting up on the handles without pulling outward. Slide the head support to the desired location and lock in place by tightening both locking knobs. Adjust the height and pitch of the support plate by grasping both control handles and squeezing firmly to release the lock before making any adjustments to the support plate. Release the control handles at the desired height and orientation of the support plate to automatically lock it in place. Install the desired face pillow on the support plate. The clear access head support is compatible with the prone view system. The clear access flex frame spine platform is sometimes generically referred to as a Wilson frame. There are two versions of the flex frame. The standalone version that can be mounted on any suitable flat top operating table and the clear access version that can be used only on the prone platform of the clear access table. To begin, install the flex frame onto the prone platform by inserting the feet into the gaps on the inner rails of the prone platform. Slide forward toward the head support and secure it in place with the utility locks immediately adjacent to the flex frame at the head and foot end of the platform. Click on the link at the end of this video for more detailed instructions on the use of the flex frame. The leg management system includes a thigh pad and an ankle rest. Install the thigh pad on the carbon fiber support closest to the flex frame by wrapping the flaps of the pad around the support and joining the Velcro underneath. Adjust the placement of the pad as necessary by sliding it toward the head or foot end of the table. Repeat the installation procedure with the ankle rest on the carbon fiber support closest to the foot end of the table. For patients shorter than 5 feet 10 inches, it may be preferable not to use the thigh pad. If this is the case, remove the thigh pad and advance the ankle rest forward to the head end carbon fiber support. To install a clear access arm board, bring the arm board in at an angle that is superior to the side rail to engage the top of the side rail first with the arm board lock. Lower the arm board to engage the bottom of the side rail. If necessary, slide the arm board toward the head end or the foot end before locking the arm board onto the side rail. Lock the arm board onto the side rail by firmly hand tightening the locking mechanism hanging from the bottom of the arm board lock. Once the arm board has been attached to the side rail, it's possible to arrange the arm board in an unlimited number of positions by supporting the arm board with one hand while moving the elbow of the arm board to a desired location. It's advisable to place the armboard lock and the elbow of the armboard toward the head end of the table rather than the foot end to prevent interference with the surgeon during the procedure. Once satisfied with the location of the armboard, lock the armboard in place by hand tightening the large black knob at the elbow. Verify that the armboard is secure, then repeat with the second armboard on the opposite side of the table. Surgeon preference or certain types of posterior procedures may require alternative leg management options. If it's desired to position the lower legs on a flat surface, this can be accomplished by removing the thigh pad and ankle rest, pushing the carbon fiber supports together and covering with a pillow or gel roll. If it's preferred to drop the legs into a sling, the carbon fiber supports can be removed and a sling installed onto the prone platform. Once the patient has been positioned on the table, use patient restraint straps to secure the patient to the table before draping and preparation for surgery. Adjust the flex frame and arm boards as necessary for patient comfort and to minimize the risk of pressure marks on the patient. Please consult the clear access instructions for use with any further questions.